These treats might look appetizing, but in fact, they're made of plastic and downsized. Stéphanie Kilgast makes her delicious looking miniatures from a clay known as Fimo. She turned a hobby into her profession. I love eating. And food gives me more material to design with than, say, furniture. Creating food is like making a sculpture. And that's something I really love doing. The architecture graduate launched her small as beautiful business in 2009. The focus on food is no coincidence. Food is great to work with artistically. It's simple to work with, and the colors are especially important. My favorite artists, like Kandinsky, made intensive use of color. As with real food, the crucial part is getting the ingredients right. Using only her hands, she produces a roll that, when cut, yields perfect orange slices. Pastel chalk helps give her creations a more authentic look. Her passion for making miniatures goes back to her childhood when she would give her dolls make-believe food. People tend to like little things. Seeing the world in miniature helps give you an overview. It's a very human thing. It's as if we could just pack the world up and put it in our pocket. Her main source of inspiration are cookbooks from Germany, Finland and Britain. Stéphanie Kilgast lives and works in Van, on the coast of Brittany. She also gets new ideas from a visit to the local bakery or market. I'd like to give my work more meaning through the content and give it more of a dramatic context. One thing I'd like to do is create miniature city scenes and then also add a humorous touch. But for the time being, she's happy that her products are selling briskly, including croissants, which no self-respecting French innovator would overlook in their collection. She sells up to 120 of her handmade creations a month online. Cakes, waffles, and pastries are particularly popular. Her most expensive creation to date cost 450 euros. Her jewelry is a big hit, including earrings, necklaces, rings, and bracelets. There aren't many people making models of food like I do. In France, there are people who make this kind of jewelry, but it's bulky. I want mine to be fine so that you don't see right away it's a croissant. Her jewelry items cost between 10 and 40 euros. Kilgast sells her handmade wares through her website and select stores. She has customers in Europe, the US, Japan and Australia. In downtown Van. Stephanie takes a break at one of her favorite spots. Since she can't eat what she creates, it's nice to sink her teeth into some real food.